You're listening to the Play Therapy Podcast with Dr. Brenna Hicks, your source for centered and focused play therapy coaching. Hi, I'm Dr. Brenna Hicks, the Kid Counselor. This is the Play Therapy Podcast where you get a master class in child-centered play therapy and practical support and application for your work with children and their families. In today's episode, I am answering a question from Danielle in Georgia. And her question is related to a client coming back to CCPT after a long break. And often because we leave the door open to a child returning at any point once we terminate, we will have children that will come back. And so she's asking some specifics about the details of how to best handle that. So we'll dive into that. Let me read you a little bit of her email and then we'll talk about it together. I have had a client recently return to CCPT with me after a year-long hiatus. During the first three sessions, the client has spent a lot of time reminiscing about their previous therapeutic experiences, recalling toys they used to play with, and checking if things are still the same. They seem mostly full of joy as they recall these memories, but also get sad when toys have been replaced or are no longer there. Obviously, there's a potential emerging theme here, but I'm curious about your thoughts on children re-entering the CCPT world. Is there a different process I should consider? And then she said, side note, this child's presenting concern is predominantly behavioral. Okay, well, thank you so much, Danielle. So let's start with your main question. Is there a different process I should consider? No. (laughs) So I feel like I'm such a broken record and I'm so emphatic about that. But every time I'm asked, are there modifications? Are there some changes? Are there there some other considerations? Is there a different process? I just say no. So the, the beauty of CCPT is we don't change it. So we don't do anything differently. However, we will be sensitive to where the child is and we will respond according to what the child is processing. So you already kind of highlighted it. You said that the child has been spending a lot of time reminiscing about their previous therapeutic experiences. Okay. So when we see that a child is reminiscing, we're going to reminisce with the child. Not that we take over, not that we commandeer the conversation, but if the child were to say, oh, I remember when I used to shoot the crossbow all the time at the target, we would say, oh, you remember shooting the crossbow. I remember that too. So the goal is always to help the child feel that we remember what they remember and that those shared experiences are still present and we've not forgotten the things that we did together. We have not forgotten the process. And similarly, when a child returns, they go back into exploratory play a little bit, just like they did when they first started with us. That is also normal and expected. So there's going to be probably a hybrid of some exploratory investigation type of play, as well as some reminiscing type of play. And that is just the standard process when kids return. But it's also to reestablish the relationship. So the relationship persists. That's why we work so hard to have healthy and happy goodbyes. That's why we work so hard to provide termination and closure because we want the child to know that they can always come back and that the relationship persists. So when they're reminiscing over things, it's actually connective and it's relational. They're trying to make it known that they remember the things that you all did together. So you're going to acknowledge those things out loud as well. And one of the most helpful things that we can do is reflect content and reflect feelings during that type of play. So you're excited to be here again, right? Or you're happy to be back or you're glad to be playing with me again, right? So we would reflect feelings. We would also reflect content. You remember when you used to always play doctor. You remember doing that in the sand with me before. So the goal is that we are going to make it very known that we are reminiscing, remembering, and relating just like the child needs and wants to as well. And be mindful too that often when a child returns, they naturally gravitate toward old play themes. So they will revisit thematically where they were before, and they will circle back to the exact same play that they've done in the past. 
and that is part of their, do I still need to do this? It's a check-in. Am I past this? Do I still need this? How does this serve me still? They're trying to figure out where they need to go in their second round of play. So while we don't change the process any, while we don't do anything different than the traditional CCPT approach, we can be a little bit intentional about making sure that we're connecting, we're reminiscing, we're revisiting those things with the child. And that is reestablishing of the relationship more than anything else. And that's a very powerful first session because the child already knows the work already knows the process. They just want to make sure that the relationship is still present and the relationship is what allows for the self-actualization process to begin. All right, Danielle, thank you so much for your question. If you would like to reach out to me, I'd love to hear from you, Brenna at the kidcounselor.com. And you can always leave a voicemail on 813-812-5525 if you're in the States. Love y'all. We'll talk again soon. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Play Therapy Podcast with Dr. Brenna Hicks. For more episodes and resources, please go to www.playtherapypodcast.com.